the National Stadium in Kingston, Jamaica. Women's 60 meters, and we're expecting some real fireworks in this one. This is the first heat. All right, so they headed to their blocks. Nelson, and a 7.05, the fastest in the field. Forbes, Herschel, Cameron, Wallace. Six will go here. Set. Yeah, set position. <laughs> and a sent off uh, cleanly. And uh, that is Clayton there in uh, lane two, who will just get it at the line, does she? And on the outside might have been Ooh. Wallace, who was closing nicely. This is evidence, gentlemen, why we have photo finish systems. A blanket finish there, but I, from my vantage point, Tia Clayton, she was out early. May. That's Tia in lane two, looking yes. good. Jodine Williams there. Kemba Nelson getting passed by Burchell as they approach the line. It could be Burchell in lane two. Clayton, the favorite here. Set. Set position. Sent off. Clean break. Morrison is out well. Here comes uh, Tina Clayton now. And Clayton takes charge and will power home. Shuts it down at the line. And uh, close going for a second. And, uh, <laughs> Wallace might have just uh, taken that uh, second place. On the outside. But uh, there's your winner. The world under 20. Two time world under 20 100 meter champion. Uh, Tina Clayton, now formerly of Edwin Allen, as we look back at the replay. Out of the blocks, fast, powerful. At this point, she knows she has it won. Eases off at the line, equals her season's best, 724. The difference is this ease up was into a negative 1.4 wind. Uh, when she ran indoors in Arkansas, it was flat out. So it's right, slowly, Levy, Forbes, Hill, and Nanda. On the outside there in lane seven. Set. Seven point two four one three. As Levy is out well. Forbes as well. Hill has some work to do. Slowly is traveling nicely. Sasha Lee Forbes will take it now. Flash time of seven point four four. The wind has eased up a bit. Negative zero point one. Seven point one eight is the official winning time for Sasha Lee Forbes. Karika Hill there for second. Uh, Sasha Lee Forbes, the national representative at 100 and 200 meters, leads from start to finish. Karika Hill was catching her, but realized that the line was there. So, Kemba Nelson in three, Tia Clayton in four, Ramona Burchell five, Jodine Williams to her outside in six, and in lane seven. Kashika Cameron of MVP. So they're sent to their mark now for the women's 60 meter final one of two. Malcolm Nelson, Clayton, Burchell, Williams, and Cameron. It's a lot about the start. Set. Set position, sent away cleanly. Good start for Kemba Nelson. Also running well. Tia Clayton. Look at Ramona Burchell on the outside. Clayton and Burchell. Clayton and Burchell. Burchell sneaks through. 7:31 is a flash time. Looks like Burchell nipped Clayton. Seven o four. Officially Ooh. for Burchell. Seven o five for Ooh. Clayton. So Ooh. the wind. Positive 2.9 meters per second. That's saw seven. Oh, you can see the bright suit of Tina, Tia Clayton with uh, Burchell beside her. Decides she doesn't want to lose. Makes up pushing the last 10 meters and gets back to evens. That was close. Yeah, Clayton up into a running very quickly. Burchell running all the way through the tip. That 400 meter strength you've spoken about, Hubert, coming to the fore. Um, Clayton herself as well, but Ramona Burchell 7.04.
Tia Clayton 705, Jordan Williams 7.16, Cameron 7.19 with Kevin Nelson 7.22, and Shanique Malcolm 7.56. Again, the not on that page, 2.9 meters per second wind in their backs. So we turn our attention to the final, second final, the women's 60 meters. Crystal Morrison listed for lane one, Amoy Brown in two, Shakuria Wallace in three. The world under 20 sprint hurdles champion, Karika Hill in four, Shasha Lee Forbes, Tina Clayton, world under 20, 100 champion twice over, will go in six. Crystal Slowly, standout from Campion College, now at UTech will go in seven with Jura Levy, World Championship Relay medalist in lane eight. This is Karika Hill. Oh, to say she's gifted is an understatement. Shasha Lee Forbes ran 718 to get here. Hill 722. Speedy, both of them. Professional debut for Hill. Clayton, you figure, will have something to say about the result Set. of this race. Set position, sent away. Good start for Tina Clayton, also Shasha Lee Forbes. Tina Clayton steps ahead now. It's going to be Tina Clayton and Forbes. And the clock keeps going. I've got 7-1 on my clock. Let's wait for the official time to come through. But Tina Clayton, no weakness in the race. Good start, good middle, good top speed. Karika Hill right beside her. Comes back at 7.02, does it, Dwayne? For the winner. And is it two meets just at the allowable limit as we take a look again, Hubert? Out fast is Tina Clayton near to us with the bright suit with Hill beside her. Control, never feel she's going to lose, Dwayne. Comfortable and confident. That's in fact Forbes beside her. Sasha Lee Forbes, a veteran. And uh, you can see the concentration and the focus of a two time world junior champion. Yeah, confident running for her, making her de debut at the pro level. Gets to the line before Sasha Lee Forbes at seven with Karika Hill 7.10. The win reading positive 2.00 meters per second. So Clayton. 702, Forbes 703, Hill 710, Shakura Wallace 7.